Well, hello everyone, and here I am with another Lego Star Wars Last Jedi set review. And this one's on the Resistance Bomber. So on the front of the large box here, you see the Lego Star Wars, the new border of it, Disney Lego, all the minifigures there, and recommended ages 9 through 14, set number 75188, has 780 pieces. This one is back of the large box. You can see the more rested position of it, all the features and everything. And on to the booklet. But on the front of the booklet, same picture as on the front and everything. On the back, I went on the online survey. And you can see all the pieces that come with the set. And then all the last Jedi sets, in which I'll be reviewing, or which I have previously reviewed, well, except for that very soon. And then all the minifigures that come with each set. Little promotional poster of all the sets, and um, yeah. Now, I'll see the minifigures. So to start out with is with Poe Dameron. Looks an all new torso printing, but the face print and hair piece just about the same as in previous sets. And then there he is from the back. End. And also double side face. And then next one is Resistance Gunner Page, who, as I hear, is the sister of Rose. And that, as you see, has all the neat head piece or helmet piece, just about like in The Force Awakens the way. Oh, my mistake. It's actually Resistance Bomber Pilot. But the torso printing just uh, quite like the other X Wing pilots. But suitable for the resistance. And there's from the back and a nice double side face. Kinda like when the minifigs from the 2012 Gungan subset kinda did. And then officially, uh, Resistance Gunner Page, who is actually Rose's sister, of course. And the torso printing. Just about the same as the other ones, which you'll see a bit. But different helmet piece. It is, has almost the exact amount of molding and printing. And back face printing and torso printing, also about the same. Then to Resistance Bomb Raider. Also kind of the same, but with a, a sand green helmet piece. With oh, tons of great printing for that. And there it is from the back. And double side face. Well, this. Yeah. And then lastly, the main star minifig of the set is Vice Admiral Haldo. So with some very good torso printing, but no white printing, or kind of hard to it, but one of the recent hair pieces, but in lightish purple, which is kind of cool. Really at least well captures her in the film. And there it is with some nice back torso printing and double side face. Now to the main part of the set, which is the resistance bomber itself. So we'll start off from the bottom. It's a little torrent or type of thing there. Or a little pistol there. You can see how well it stands is on those pieces. It's with a tile there. And stands pretty well. 
then from the back of it, you see there's one of these little turns, there will be another one higher up. And these ones can like open up from the sides and can fit a single mini thing in them. And, and then, oops, like. Like so. Then a little farther on up. The ton of exposed studs, but that's alright. But on the front of it, it has good use of those like roundish mixel teeth pieces. And then that little detail there is actually a sticker. You can see there's really light gray and a bit of dark gray and blue. An alright color scheme we're working for. It. But as far as they're up, let me move around. As you can see, there's one of those like balloon bottom pieces from the Angry Birds line, but working for the piping, and also those like macaroni pieces used as piping, which works good. Maybe there's some guns there, and then and there's one of the spring load lockers, kind of well hidden in there. They're kind of like with the uh. Uh, hover tank from Rogue One. And then moving on up, there's, there's the main cockpit part piece. Kind of similar to that of the Millennium Falcon ones. Also, it's removable as that was. And there's tons of these little printed control panel pieces. It has the wings of which, which are on two different kinds, like the clicky joints and the Swivel joints. But a lot so it doesn't move down. Oh, which is good. And then the midsection part, which could also come off. You can see there's a little seat or a couple of seats to like sit someone in. Like as you can see. And also a couple of little backpack pieces for some reason. And also good use of those like tiny uh, cornering pieces, which are kind of good. So I'm like so, but those detailings on here are all stickers. So very few stickers in this. So and then further back we got those like uh, plain like pieces, which do make some good snot techniques. And then um, get some like swiveling pistols with uh, stud shooters there. And then another one of those little turn things like below. And as I forgot to mention, there's a new kind of tile piece, which is like a one by two with a flat tile part of it, which is kind of interesting. And I also forgot to mention that this little dome right here can open up. And hold on a sec. And you can, of course, put a me pig in there and closes up nice, nicely over there. And now, how it gets the name resistant armor is you press those like little jack pieces there, and then a letter and what Baco calls zapper spheres, but also little spherical pieces. And how you load them in is that. The things that open up, and you can just drop them on it like so. But also, a little thing I forgot to mention from here is that opens up, and there's an extra missile for the spring line missiles. But some good engine detailing with good use of those like uh, column pieces and whatnot. And 
now on to the final verdict. So far, so for the overall verdict on this size, well, it pretty good set from the resistance and all. Like, get Vice Admiral Haldo, which is probably going to be kind of important to the film, and also Resistance Cutter Page, which will go well next to Rose. And, yeah. and if you're looking to like get this set, then go ahead and get it. And that's it with this video, and see you all in the next video. Bye.